guys, we're going over to Hosier Lane, check out this street art, and uh, look at all this. People come from all over the world to check this out. And every time we come here, it looks different. Yeah, right? <laughs> We've been here a few times this week, and every time we come, it looks different. <laughs> People keep painting. It's funny. Yo, you need to check this out. There was a mural of me and uh, Rob here. You can see the top of our faces. <laughs> That's the norm around here, though. It's just crazy. This is pretty dope. Let's go. Feels good to be here in Melbourne. You know, um, obviously a long time in the making. So it's very good to finally be in the office, I guess. You know, fight week, we're here to, to do a job and you know, we're almost there. How do you compare Kelvin's resume to your own? Oh, it's very similar. He's, he's beaten some big names. He's, he's young, he's hungry, he's tough. He hits like a truck. He's got good, well-rounded skill sets. So um, I think we go in there very, very even. Every fight is dangerous. Every fight is by itself. You know, there's, just because I beat so-and-so doesn't mean I'm any better or any worse than anybody else. Do you feel like you're the best fighter that Australia's ever seen? You know, I, I strive to be the best fighter ever. Like, that's, that's, my, that's my goal. Like, I love fighting. I love to fight. And um, this is who I am. You know, I'm a warrior. I'm going to bring the best Robert Whittaker to date on Sunday. And, uh, you know, I'm dangerous on a bad day. Get ready for this weekend. One of the best things about our camp is that uh, we have a, a large group of female fighters. And uh, one of Montana's main training partners since she's uh, started this down this career path is, is Jen, who's a two time uh, Invicta world champion, current uh, Adam champion right now. And a softball. Yep. So <laughs> it's been perfect. Yeah, we do like we call them fight sims. We'll walk through a fight day, just basic warm up, basic movements, and then how we want the fight to play out. Just every picking up habits, counters, and strikes. We know they're gonna land and work that we've been working on. And we just review every day, and then fight day, you're gonna see it all just just unleashed. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Yeah. Is that like a normal thing for you? I mean, I won it in my first fight. I, she caught a kick and then I threw a flying armbar. So it's kind of fun to throw it in there every once in a while. I'd rather run on the road than the treddy. You get to see shit. You get to actually get past something. Like, nothing's worse than actually looking at the thing no, and it's like, what am I hitting the 6K? What am I hitting the whatever K you want to no, achieve? Nothing's worse <laughs> than running and not actually going forward. <laughs> <laughs> stuck in the same spot for about 50 minutes. It's the worst. Fighting pay-per-view, like especially in the home city, it's it's awesome. It means a lot, especially because I was on the prelim originally and I got bumped up to the main card. I'm going to offer you 50 bucks jumping in the water. I ain't jumping in no water. Look at it. My thoughts on Montana, I'll, I'm not one to watch my opponents because I don't want to become emotionally invested or anything like that because I'm too competitive, so I'd rather leave it to the coaches and they can deal with that and give me what I have to do. But I mean, if she, she can come at me with whatever, but um, she's just got to know that I'm, I'm well-rounded too. So we'll say he's the best female on the night. Where are we sitting? On the corner here. Fuck, it is hot. Basically, how I got into MMA, like the gym opened up Australian top team and uh, my brother was training there and I was just watching him compete and I was just really intrigued by it. And I've always had that like side to me where like, it's, like it's interesting in violence so um, I tried the gym out started out in jiu-jitsu and everything and then from there progressed and I've had my first MMA fight after a year and a half 
What'd you get anyway? Huh? What'd you order? A burger. You fat fuck. Well, I haven't eaten all day. Leave me alone. I'm joking, eat it. It's alright, I'll just remember the next time. The last time you went we went to go eat, you had a burger too and I was dieting. Thank you very much. There you go. There you go. Do you want to swap? Oh, yeah. Love it. Come on, man. We've been working out my room uh, a few times a week already. You know, we enjoy the view, we enjoy looking out the city, and um, it's a perfect place. Turn up the heat, get my team in here, and we hit pads. It gets pretty nice and warm in here. Lose a little bit of weight, and um, you know, get a good workout in. We're ready for everything. Everything. Every day for hard. That's what we do every day, every day. What we do in the octagon, we do it every day at home. The bell will be just the consequence of all that work. The only man in the UFC history who's got the old belt and the new generation belt. Just one guy in the whole world has that. He's right here in my room. Hey. In my journey, I trained 14 world champions. It's gonna be my 50. And uh, the same eyes, I can see this kid I saw in champs in the past. We knew version. This is Kelvin, Kelvin, guys in the past, guys in the past. But I can't see. The key to this victory, man, is for you to fight with inspiration. Dude. Embrace everything that's going on, the lies, the cameras. You're a huge underdog. I was watching the fighter picks. These fucking people, they don't believe in you, man. Whitaker, Whitaker, Whitaker. Whitaker, Whitaker, Whitaker. Allow that shit to motivate you. You know why I'm gonna win? Because I'm gonna show you I can. You know why I'm gonna win? Because I'm gonna show you how to be a fucking believer. Woo!